What's up, Internet? Welcome to another edition of Devon Reacts. I have to confess, I'm a Blastaholic, and I need my daily dose of Blastaholic. Today we're looking at a very special video from a very special drummer. The one, the only, Lord Marco. We are not worthy. Extreme metal drumming has really come a long way since whenever it started. Nowadays, it seems like everybody and their little brother can hit 280 BPM double strokes on double bass. If you go in onto Facebook and join any kind of extreme metal drummers group, you'll see that it's common now. Common now to see guys who can play 250, 260, 2 whatever. Uh, but throughout all of that, there's been one constant. Lord Marco. Um, uh, admittedly, I don't know a lot about his career. I just know he's been around forever. I think his first big band was Brain Drill, and those guys were really... No, I was never really into them, but they were really ahead of their time. Over time, he's built up an immense amount of skill, uh, endurance, stamina, speed, you name it. And it's gotten to the point where it's ridiculous. We're going to be looking at a video today. Um, he does a lot of, like, a ton of session work. Um, he recorded this uh, for a group called Sony Vinos. The song is called Incomprehensibly Evolved, which is a very fitting title. Uh, and the song is recorded at 310 BPM. 310 BPM. And if you're not a drum guy, let me just say that 200 is fast. It used to be 200 was like, whoa. 310 is inhuman. I'm pretty sure that 310 BPM is what killed John Bonham. If uh, Lars Ulrich tried to play 310 BPM, his arms would fall off. The really impressive thing about it is not the speed, although the speed is ridiculous. It's everything else, the fluidity, precision with which he's able to play. And then coupling that with the sheer speed makes this unbelievable. Let's start this thing right now. Hmm, what do we have here? We got some zombies ripping people apart. There he is, the man himself. First person view. Wait, I'm, I'm not gonna pause this very much, but just, what just happened? He was going? And then we hit some some triplet. And then a and then like two seconds of gravity blast. And then I think those were double stroke tom rolls. And it all happened so fast that even Neo from the Matrix couldn't have dodged it. Just I'm sorry, go back to the 17 seconds. If I'm not mistaken, he's got his hand in the middle of the stick, so he can stroke this way and then stroke that way. And so he's gravity blasting, and each hit, he's going ting, 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 ting. 
with the double base at 310 beats per minute! It's insane how he's able to switch his left hand from the offbeat to the to the downbeat, like simultaneously. I don't know, whatever. Um, and you can hear he's doing like the uh, like the gallops on the double bass, where it's like, but he's doing them so fast. That's almost harder to do than just straight double bass. Like straight a straight roll is like. That's cool, but you take out every other left stroke, and it's... And he's doing it at 310 beats per minute! Anyway. <laughs> that double bass is ridiculous. missed a stroke yet maybe my ears aren't that fast <laughs> oh that was the end he's just like oh just put the sticks down <laughs> that picture is the best oh man well there you have it Lord Marco, feel like quitting drums yet? I know I sure do. Uh, thanks for watching. And um, make sure you leave a like. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. It's one small click for you, but one small dick for me. I'm, never mind. Anyway, yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Uh, do all that good stuff. And um, we'll, we'll catch you on the next one. Have a good one.